Here are today's top stories. First, NBC Universal has hired outside counsel to investigate former Vice Chairman Ron Meyer's behavior. Following an affair with actress Charlotte Kirk in 2013 and the $2 million settlement he reached with her last year, leading to his recent ouster from the company. According to an insider, the investigation is an effort to determine if any company money or resources were used in conjunction with the affair or its cover-up. The goal is to determine if the media giant was unwittingly a party to any impropriety. An NBC Universal spokesperson confirmed that an investigation is underway. All this comes at a time when the Kirk scandal keeps expanding, with more powerful Hollywood men named as having been involved with the now 27-year-old actress, who is said to have Asperger's syndrome and was possibly promised roles and auditions in exchange for sex. Our favorite friendly feud rages on. Hugh Jackman proposed a birthday gift for Ryan Reynolds during a recent interview on Sirius XM's The Jess Cagle Show, and naturally, it was ruthless and pretty gross. When asked what he might get Reynolds for his birthday, since the Deadpool actor and Wolverine actor were both born in October, Jackman, of course, had something mean-spirited and gross in mind, involving the game Ding Dong Ditch. My older brother took it to the next level, and when you came to open the door, there was a package that was on fire. The package was filled with various amounts of dog poo from the neighborhood. He continued, so you would stamp it out. That's the first thing that came to mind. Following the second night of the Republican National Convention on Tuesday, Stephen Colbert is giving his candid thoughts with a live post-show analysis segment on The Late Show. THR's Neha Joy has more. The beginning moments included an animation of Trump singing the ABCs of the RNC alongside First Lady Melania, his son Eric, and daughter Tiffany. went on to call the show dark, angry propaganda with terrible production values. They should have called it triumph of the will this be over soon? And finally, Colbert referenced the fact that Melania said she and her husband would build on what they've done so far in the White House during their second term. If you have to build on it, maybe it wasn't best. For more on all these stories, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.